Afternoon guys. Um, just a little tip regarding the um, ventilation system in this vehicle. Um, I found that in the past week, um, especially when it's say six degrees and below, a good little tip, and I'll talk you through it now on the uh, main infotainment screen, uh, just to make it easier, if we go into say the uh, climate control, which obviously shows all the information on here, um, you do get it obviously um, up the top for the ones uh, people have actually got the uh, previous shape leaf and the uh, 2018. So I'm just gonna talk this uh, through with you. So basically what you need to do is actually press the, um, the mode switch until you actually get the um, windshield if you're on the other side of the pond, uh, state side, or the windscreen uh, front demister, which instead of using this, use this mode to get this up here because this will set it up on auto. Um, and then from there, if you actually just press the fan enabled once, what that will do is actually use the ambient uh, temperature outside, which if it's cold, I, I agree, will actually, um, make you cold um, but I'll get to the second part in a moment but what that would do is it will uh, give a constant stream of air coming through the window which will actually demist your main screen your two side screens and to a lesser extent the uh, two rear screens the rear uh, window um, which you can use with the uh, uh, rear defroster uh, if that gets um, um, uh, misted up but this will actually keep the car completely clear and more importantly, it doesn't actually use uh, any of the uh, main battery uh, power. I've been using it all week and I've been testing it and I wanted to do a full week's test before I reported it back to you guys. Um, and then anyway, so moving on, once um, you've got it in this position here, what you need to do is if you uh, press the heat, uh, get the heat pump on, um, I set mine to 16.5. Um, your mileage may vary, you may need it higher. I find 16.5 is really, really warm in this car uh, for some reason, which I have mentioned before. Um, but the point I was gonna make is, is that um, although this is actually on the windscreen and the windshield, for some reason, uh, I'm not sure if some of the heat from the heat pump uh, actually goes into the footwells, because I find that with that setting up high, I don't know how it does it, but it just seems to warm the whole car. But more importantly, um, obviously I'm holding this camera with my um, uh, left hand, but basically imagine this is my, my left hand here and you've got a steering wheel. It's so easy just literally to um, basically pulse this. Once the car's warm, um, it will actually stay warm for about five minutes. Uh, the reason that is, is because unlike a, tradi a traditional car where you'd actually turn the dial all over to the cold, I don't know how the uh, heat pump works with... Uh, unlike a traditional car which has got a heater matrix so the um, air passing from the outside over the heater matrix comes into the car um, this actually stays warm for about five minutes um, it doesn't come through cold immediately so you can pulse the heat pump every five to eight minutes depending on uh, what temperature is more suitable for you or your relatives or passengers um, and that way um, and I know it's a bit of a faff pressing this but I found um, all week since I've been using this, and it's actually been very cold uh, most of the week, um, my range has gone up by about 15 miles um, per day. So where I would have had, say, uh, 100 miles uh, daily, and on the colder days I'd have probably uh, 25 miles um left over it's more nearer uh, what i'd have on say eight degrees and above which would be about 140 it might drop, drop down a little bit but anyway guys it was um just a little tip that you guys might actually find uh, helpful if you are trying to eke out a bit more range out of this uh, vehicle um and that's about it for today guys it was just a video regarding this ventilation but like i say leaving it on this setting um will actually keep these uh, windows clear um all of your uh, shift and like I said earlier you won't actually use none of the main battery anyway guys I hope you're having a good day and I will speak to you guys soon bye for now